So the purpose of this circuit is to make a square wave using an op-amp relaxation circuit. You'd think it's pretty straightforward, but I did struggle for a while to find a good um, example of this circuit. This diagram is from the data sheet of the LM358, so that's what I'm, um, I'm using as a starting point. I then used uh, an online uh, simulator, circuit simulator, to try this, and it seemed to be working okay, changing values. But then you get to a certain point in that online circuit simulator. I can't remember the name, but it says, oh, you have to register and all that sort of blah, blah. So I went back to my trusty iCircuit, uh, and this is iCircuit on an iPad, and um, I set it up uh, in the same configuration, a few little changes, and then um, let it run. I've actually got it going here at about a quarter speed just to slow things down. It also gives a bit of an indication about how this circuit actually works. You can see the capacitor charging and discharging. You can see the effect of the resistors. Uh, and the ones that I ended up using, even though it says 100K there, uh, coming out of the op amp at the bottom there, I'm, I actually ended up using 10K. And then uh, f the feedback loop is the 1K one, and that stayed the same. The one at the top, which isn't labeled, that's a 10K potentiometer, and that just enables you to set the uh, frequency of the oscillations. Uh, so, yeah, so um, that seemed to be good in theory uh, on a um, uh, simulator, but what did it look like in real life? Well, my next step was to actually go to Fritzing and to... Um, mock up what it might look like on a breadboard. So there you can see uh, one of the early, um, I guess, versions of it that I had. Um, and this is the actual later version. So pretty much the same, I guess, um, but showing the three resistors and the um, capacitor coming out of the op amp. It's a dual op amp, so this is only just on the one side. And, uh, and then just the LED and the potentiometer there. So in the flesh, this is what it looks like. I've got 9 volts coming in. Uh, I do have a oscilloscope there just looking at the, um, the signal and um, keeping an eye on that as I change the frequency. And uh, yeah, that seemed to be working pretty well. But um, let's see it in action because the whole thing is about blinking lights. Here we have the LM358 configured as a square wave generator. It's got 9 volts being fed into it. And just with uh, a couple of, what have we got there, three resistors and a capacitor, we put a lovely square wave being produced. There is a fourth resistor, uh, which I've got as a variable, it's a potentiometer. So I can actually slow down that pulse. And we might just change the timing there. Going the wrong way. There we go. Move one back. And we'll just hold that one. So that's around about 7 hertz now. And I might use that actual function, the square wave. I'm going to feed it into the other side of the LM358. It is a dual op amp and uh, we'll configure it as an integrator and maybe get a triangular wave out of it. And then perhaps if I put another LM358 on that board, I can then feed the triangular or the triangle wave through to the other op amp and maybe get a sine wave out of it. So just with a couple of op amps and um, some simple components like resistors and capacitors, we might be able to get a pretty useful function generator. So yeah, that's the circuit working.